a car called Toyota Yaris was produced in two bodies, three, and five door hatchback. However, in the secondary market you can find a very practical Yaris Verso, which differs not only in a different appearance, but also in increased dimensions, plus 240 millimeters. If the appearance of the Yaris Verso does not scare you away, in Japan, the model was known as the Fun Cargo, and in some Asian countries as the Echo Verso, then take it without hesitation. This small and actually rather ugly car turned out to be surprisingly practical. Perhaps, among the entire range of Yaris models, it is the Verso modification that deserves the highest ratings due to its spacious interior. The luggage space is also impressive. With the rear seats folded down, it is as much as 1160 liters. This is significantly more than traditional station wagons. Most of the Yaris sold on the secondary market were imported to us from Europe and Russia. As already mentioned, the Yaris was in very limited demand. However, you can often find cars from Japan, which, however, had a different name. The fact that the Yaris Verso was called Fun Cargo has already been said. Ordinary Yaris in Japan were called Vits. In addition, a decent number of cars built on the basis of the Yaris were sold in the land of the rising sun. These are Platts, with a small letter, will cipher, ROM, BB. Moreover, in Japan, not only front-wheel drive versions were available, but also cars with all-wheel drive. And in the US, they sold a coupe and a four-door sedan called the Echo. In some Arab countries, the sedan is known as the Yaris. Salon and Equipment As is often the case with the Japanese, Toyota Yaris had fixed equipment levels that did not give buyers much room for imagination. Therefore, those wishing to ride the Yaris will have to choose between three trim levels, Terra, Luna, and Sol. The last one is the best. It already has air conditioning, ABS, several airbags, Velayer trim, electric windows. Despite the rather modest size, there is plenty of space inside the Yaris, not only in front, but also in the back. In many ways, this was achieved due to the presence of adjustment of the second row of seats in length. True, if adults sit back and move the seats, the trunk will become very modest, only 205 liters. But the designers of Toyota have something to answer this reproach. The car has a huge number of various drawers, pockets, and glove compartments. And there you can hide a lot of stuff. Engine. Most often in the secondary market you can find Toyota Yaris with gasoline engines of 1.0 or 1.3 liters, which produce 65 and 87 horsepower, respectively. If you take a car with an automatic transmission, it is better to prefer a more powerful 1.3 liter engine. But there is no economic sense in buying a Yaris with a 1.5 liter engine. As already mentioned, such a car costs the same as the larger Corolla. Although it should be noted that the Yaris 1.5 looks very interesting, because it has 105 horsepower. For a machine of this size, this is more than enough. There is also a 1.4 liter diesel, 75 horsepower. The engine is not bad, but diesel Yaris are rarely delivered to us. Besides, there will not be much savings on fuel in this case. A 1.3 liter gasoline engine with comparable dynamics and ease of control spends a little more. All engines without exception are very reliable. If you take a car with a mileage of under 100,000 kilometers, then in theory there should be no complaints about the power unit at all, even the timing chain here needs to be changed only after 200,000 kilometers. Unless it may be necessary to clean the injection system, which is clogged due to our unique purity gasoline. Even with a run of more than 100,000 kilometers, sometimes there are clogged airflow sensors. In most cases, it is enough to simply clean them, although at some services customers are brazenly bred to replace the sensor, which costs more than $200. Theoretically, of course, other sensors that are not cheap can break down, but their breakdowns are of a single nature. In general, such troubles are extremely rare with Toyota Yaris. Of course, if you buy a car of the first years of production with high mileage, then you need to be careful. Transmission most Yaris sold in Europe have a very reliable 5-speed manual transmission. Even the clutch needs to be changed there only closer to 200,000 kilometers, which costs $500. Given the resource of the element, it's not much. Toyota also offered a manual transmission with an automatic clutch release system called Freetronic for the Yaris. In theory, such a robotic transmission is very convenient. You can shift gears yourself, there is no clutch pedal or you can put the box in automatic mode. However, experience has shown that the box turned out to be rather twitchy, often stupid, 
Besides, there are a lot of questions about its reliability. Often, owners complain that the gears start to switch in some strange way. The computer constantly writes about certain errors. In this case, you need to go to the service as soon as possible and see what's the matter. Although we'll say right away, not all service stations will undertake Freetronic diagnostics and repairs. The masters say that the unreliability of the box just scares them. A lot can break, a spool valve, a pressure sensor, a hydraulic accumulator, a pump, often the hydraulic fluid leaves through leaky seals. At the same time, all spare parts for Freetronic are fantastically expensive, often repairing a box costs more than $2,000. Therefore, it is better to play it safe and generally abandon the robotic gearbox. And if you follow this absolutely correct advice, then Yaris from Europe will have to be taken only with mechanics, which does not increase the popularity of Yaris among Russians. Theoretically, you can find a car with a much more reliable four-speed automatic, however, it is almost impossible to find such cars on the European market. Automatic transmission was installed mainly on Japanese or American versions of the model. Suspension. Few people scold the Yaris suspension, especially since there is nothing complicated there. There is a traditional McPherson strut in front, and a semi-independent beam in the back. Yes, you can complain that the car is a bit harsh, but this is a drawback of all B-Class models. In addition, against the background of competitors, the Yaris looks very worthy in terms of smoothness. If you buy a car with a mileage of less than 100,000 kilometers, then with a 90% probability it can be argued that there will be no need to repair the chassis. Unless the front stabilizer may already be worn out, but its restoration will cost no more than $100. And only after 130,000 kilometers, shock absorbers, about $60 to $80 apiece, of bearings, $20 to $30, and, maybe, front levers with ball joints, $150 each, can be replaced. But, again, the Yaris suspension is reliable, and all parts without exception have a long life. In addition, the cost of spare parts for Toyota Yaris is not as high as one might expect. Outcome Of course, the Yaris has certain disadvantages, many of which have to do with its size. The machine is still quite noisy and does not behave in the best way on the track. As for reliability, there were no complaints here, although a few months ago something pounded behind. Checking the service showed that everything is in order with the suspension. It turned out that the sound was made by a plastic plug on the attachment points of the rear seats, which began to hang out. 